What is up ladies and gentlemen, here we're going to be reviewing the Trident Trigger headset. These are the Halo 4 Special Edition ones. Now first we're going to take a close look at the headset. I definitely like the design on it. If you're a Halo 4 fan or Halo fan, it has a nice design on both ear cups. And of course on the top it has the Halo 4 sign to it. Even in the ear cup itself it has a nice little eagle design on it. So overall I definitely like the you know, look of the headset. It has a nice rough finish. Uh, but realize it does scratch up pretty easy so be careful with that. And of course right here is where you have your control. This is pretty much where you control your chat volume, your game volume. You have your mute. This is where you connect the Xbox remote for live chat. And this is where you connect your headset. And this gives you about, I believe it's 13 feet of wire. So it gives you a good amount of wire. So depending how far you are from your Xbox, you don't have to worry about tugging on your wire. Now the headphone itself has a tight build to it. Um, very sturdy. It feels like it will hold up. Also the ear cups swivel like this. So again, you're able to rest these on your shoulder when you're not using it. And also I like the design of the mic itself, the way it pulls up and down. Now I didn't get no complaints about the mic when I was talking on Xbox Live. So the mic performed, but it does pick up a bit of background noise. Of course this is your chat cable. Now this is all depending on your preference, but if you can notice it has a different build to it. It has these two little things side by side. This is to connect to your Xbox remote and it goes deep in there. Like once you put it in all the way, like so, it does not come off. Now, if you don't want to keep this on your Xbox remote, this might be a problem because it is a headache to take off. It is not the easiest thing, but it is really tight in there. So again, you don't have to worry about your chat cable coming off. And of course, your headphones also come with this adapter. Most trying headphones do. Um, and this is pretty much if you like to use HDMI setup. And this is where you connect your headphones. And then you connect the HDMI to the back of your Xbox. Now the speakers on these are 40 millimeters, so they're not the top of the line speakers. Um, again, these headphones go pretty loud, but they're a bit lacking on bass. So you don't get that nice bass sound if you're looking to play Battlefield, Modern Warfare, or Gears of War. But it should perform pretty well with Halo. It performed pretty good with Resident Evil and, and games in that nature. And you get a nice padding on the ear cup and the top of the head. But one of the things with these headsets, it has really small ear cups. So pretty much if you have normal to larger ears, this might create an issue because this will lay on your ear, it does lay on my ear. And again, with the tight built these headphones have, it doesn't have too much give. So it feels like they're actually squeezing your head and squeezing your ear pretty bad. Um, I'd say within an hour of gaming, I pretty much have to take them off and rest them. It pretty much have the same amount of comfort as, let's say, the Beats mixers. So if you use those headset and you don't mind that comfort, then these headphones might not bother you. Now guys, overall, what do I think about these headset? Again, these headphones are only for the Xbox 360, not for PC as well. So take that into consideration if you're looking for headset only for your Xbox. Of course, you're able to still use these for your PS3, you just won't be able to use live chat. You just have to use the AV cables and connect it the same way. And the fact that it comes with an adapter, so if you're looking to do HDMI, that is not bad. Um, you get a decent amount of wires with 13 feet, I believe. So overall, do I recommend these headphones? If you're looking for really good sounding headphones and comfort, these might not be for you. But if you're looking for nice, affordable Triton headset with, if, with pretty much a nice look to it, um, decent sound quality, just lacking a bit in bass, and you don't mind the comfort too much, then these headphones might be for you. You might be you know, looking to get into gaming headset. These are very affordable. But guys, let me know what you think about the Try and Trigger headset. Have you used them before? Do you like them? Do you mind the comfort? Let me know in the comments down below. But guys, thank you for watching. This is your Border One Chris 83. Catch you next video. Peace.